Hi, I'm Robin Mead from Morning Express with Robin Mead on HLN. Now it's on early in the morning, so depending on when you're watching this, you're invited to join us. But right now you are watching The Pavlina Show. Hey everyone, it's Pavlina from The Pavlina Show. I am here at the CNN studios with host of The Morning Express and singer and songwriter Robin Mead. How are you doing? I'm good, Pavlina, now that I've seen you. How are you? Thank you. I'm good. Thank you. How's your time in New York been? You know, it's um, been a quick day uh, because I I do the broadcast from Atlanta and it goes over the nation from Atlanta, from the CNN Center there. So it's just been um, maybe 12 hours. I, I flew in this morning. <laughs> busy day. Busy day. That's yeah. Busy. I got up at 3 and, and flew in, but that's my normal wake up time. Okay. Yeah. Gosh. I, I feel you. I'm in radio, so like I know that it's crazy. Yeah. So what really got you into like morning radio where you want to sit at the morning desk and everything? You know, my entire career, uh, 15 years almost at Headline News or CNN Headline News, and before that, 10, 12 years in local news, I've only ever done mornings. Sometimes you know what time of the day fits your personality, and I've always known that it's easy for me to wake up early, and in general, I'm not too much of a crank in the morning. Don't ask my team. Maybe they'll tell you differently, but um, I know that that fits my personality. Yeah, yeah. definitely. I'm definitely more of a morning person, yeah. you know? Um, so what has ever, like, has there ever been, like, a story that's, like, come across your morning desk, and you're like, what? the heck oh my gosh this is crazy anything like that um well almost every day it seems like there's a crazy story or the story I like to say that sometimes we'll put stuff on the air just really quick blip of a story right. that makes you as the viewer go see I am smart I am normal because I didn't do that <laughs> oh my gosh yes that is so funny okay so what has been what's like what would you say is one of your like biggest accomplishments and like also one, like another one being your biggest failure uh, I think when it comes to television um, two of my favorite stories. One was jumping out of a perfectly good airplane with President Bush 41, so the father, and that was on television. That was for a live broadcast. And another one was interviewing three former hostages who were Americans who were held in the jungles of Colombia for five years. So two different kinds of stories, but I, I was proud to be called upon to do those interviews. Yeah. Oh my gosh, that's crazy. What was it like jumping out of Jumping out of a plane because I went skydiving for my 18th birthday. It was the cool. I'm gonna. I want to become like. I think I'm like an adrenaline junkie with it. Like it's the best thing ever. Well, you're braver than I am because I only did it for a story. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I was I like, Mom, I want to go. <laughs> no, you know how like if if I had a choice, I right. probably would not have jumped out of a plane. But for that story, I jumped out of the plane. I did it. Of and well, anything for a story. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. But you, on the other hand, you did. You thought it was fun. I thought it was fun. <laughs> <laughs> like, Mom, I really want to do this. It took a lot of convincing, but, you know, it worked. So it was it was great. Anyway, so we have the Gracies tomorrow, and you're hosting that. that you're going to be hosting it. So what are you, like, most excited for about it? Uh, what I love about the Gracies, among many things, is that you have a lot of female leaders, um, female peop uh, starters in the media business, and people who are great storytellers, and they may be programming um or they might be journalists, or they might be the producers who come up with different shows. And what I like is someone like yourself, you might meet someone who could be your mentor forever. Or I might meet someone that I go, they're a great subject. They are not only just a leader in the industry, but maybe they are someone I'd like to interview and profile. But it's a great support system for people and women who are coming up in the business. And um, it might be people you call upon 20 years from now, but they're there for you. Right. That's amazing. Now, it's actually put on by the Alliance for Women in Media, and I feel like women had made great strides in media. So what do you think women should do to, you know, because this is, you know, a male-dominant uh, media and everything? You know, um, I'm fortunate in that I have uh, a staff and a show where when I say diversity, I don't mean just people of different walks of life, but I also mean female um, leaders on my show team. And I have that. So I'm fortunate in that. So when people say to reflect your audience, it's important that you have diversity. To me, that also includes diversity uh, in terms of leadership. And I am lucky enough that I have a lot of female leaders on my team, whether it's my news director in Atlanta or it's my executive producer. 
That's amazing. That's great. So you're actually vegetarian. I'm vegetarian as well. <laughs> Proud for like eight years. It's great. It's great. How long have you been vegetarian? And have you, have you ever had like a weakness kind of moment? You know, I actually didn't decide to become vegetarian. Oh, really? I kind of started growing aversions to certain things. Mm -hmm. And then I just kept adding it to my list. So when I thought, oh, I'm a pescatarian because right. maybe I, um, yeah. I got grossed out by eating beef. Right. And so I thought I'd eat pe uh, fish. Then somewhere along the way, something happens, and I'm, I grow an aversion to that. Mm -hmm. So along the way, I've become a vegetarian, but it wasn't on purpose. Oh, okay. It was accidental. Mm -hmm. And so because of that, I don't struggle right. with feeling like, oh, I want a big, fat, juicy hamburger. Right. There's always a vegetarian version of it. But I know some people do it out of principle, mm -hmm. and so therefore it's harder sometimes when you yeah. feel like you're being, oh, gosh, you know, right. the, the hamburger's calling your name. Yeah. <laughs> or the smell. Right. Yeah. It's just like, it, it still kind of grosses me out sometimes because I've been a vegetarian for eight years now, and it's just like, Ugh. But then there's every once in a while you walk by a Chick-fil-A and it's like, oh, God, really? You know, it's like, it's, it's hard. So you have three pups at home. I have I have a baby pug, and she's Aww. like my life. She's my child. What's so what, Penelope. Okay. Yeah, she's great. So tell me about your three dogs and like what you like, like to do on the weekends or something. You know, they're all three rescues, and Amazing. we got <laughs> the first two when you go to PetSmart on adoption day <laughs> and you don't mean to go on adoption day mm -hmm. but you're getting food for the first one and that's how we got the first two dogs oh and then the third dog um, so we're those people like we have three dogs right. uh, my husband actually stopped on the road and picked up this poor little stray that was mm -hmm. feral and he's still part of our family he's goofy yeah, but he's still is. part of our family that yeah. is so adorable <laughs> Penelope is like she's crazy she's like this crazy little pug it's so funny yeah. she's like a little yoga pug it's awesome she's so a yeah she definitely does so you're also a singer and songwriter you have I believe two albums yeah. right so um, if you could just like you know if there was a song that would describe today what what song would that be a song that would describe today mm -hmm. you know because it's Monday I could say manic Monday but it's not been manic manic mm -hmm. kind of has a bad connotation let me let me look over a song that describes today. Oh, really? That's fine. I, I guess I'll say Manic Monday because mm -hmm. it's a Monday. Okay. But, but it has been a crazy Monday for you. You know, you've got like... In a good way. In a good way. Not in a bad way. A good Manic, not a bad Manic. <laughs> yes, exactly. Yeah.